water scarcity plagues mountain farmers across the Hindu Kush Himalayan region. Although the HKS is known as the water tower of Asia, only 35% of mountain agriculture is irrigated. Climate change is further exacerbating the water problem by increasing the incidence and intensity of droughts and flooding. This places the region's food and nutrition security at peril, making it necessary for mountain farmers to adopt improved and efficient water management practices. One such practice is water storage in soil cement tanks. A soil cement tank is a semi-permanent structure built from red soil, sand, and cement. They are used to store residual tap, rain, and spring water. Soil cement tanks are popular among smallholder farmers because they are simple, affordable, and durable, lasting 15 to 20 years. They last longer than plastic lined ponds and can be constructed and maintained cheaply. In this video, we will show you how to construct your own soil cement tank. Start the process by selecting a suitable site. The tank should be constructed preferably on an elevated site to aid gravity fed irrigation. This site should be close enough to a source of water such as residual excess tap water, rainwater, or water from nearby springs. In this video, we will construct a relatively large tank with dimensions of 15 by 4 by 2 meter. You should design the layout and size of your tank as per your preference. Note that the minimum recommended dimensions are 5 by 3 by 1.5 meter, yielding 22,500 liter capacity. Once you have selected your site, use pegs to mark it. Having marked your site, the next step is to collect the required construction materials and transport them to the selected site. You will need four different kinds of materials, OPC cement, dried and crushed red clay soil, and sand. Both the soil and the sand have to be sieved to remove any pebbles and plant parts. Lastly, you need small stones for the tank's foundation. For a 5x3 into 1.5 meter tank, you will roughly need 3 cubic meter of soil, 2 cubic meter of sand, 1 cubic meter of stones, and 500 kg of cement. In addition to the construction materials, you will need the following tools, measuring tape, digging tools like spigs, shovels, and a pickaxe, a wheelbarrow, a sledgehammer for breaking up large stones, and trowels for plastering. Start the construction of the tank by clearing the site of any grass or shrubs, if present, then start to excavate the soil from the mark boundary with pegs. Make sure to schedule enough time for this. A 5x3 into 1.5 meter tank will take roughly 14 labor days to excavate. Additional time will be required if your soil structure is hard or if you find lots of tree roots and large stones during the excavation, which need to be broken up and removed. Alternatively, you can keep the stones and break them up into smaller pieces to be used in the foundation. While excavating the tank's wall, ensure that they are gently outward sloping and floor is level. Take care to create smooth surfaces on both walls and floor. Any larger holes and uneven spots will make the surface uneven and weaken the structure of the plaster. Next, prepare a foundation for the tank floor with a 2.5 inch thick layer of smaller stones or pebbles and compact them. We do not demonstrate this step in this video, as in our case, the floor of our tank lies on bedrock and does not need further stabilization. We are now ready to apply the first layer of plaster. For this, mix three parts of soil with three parts of sand and one part of cement. An easy way to do this is to pour the sand onto the ground in bowl shape and then use the inside of this bowl to mix in the other materials. Apply water and mix well until the plaster has a moist and sticky consistency. Once the plaster mix is ready, bring it to the spot where you want to apply it using a shovel or bucket. 
then spread it out evenly onto the walls and floor, approximately 6 cm thick. Plaster the tank's walls first, then move onto the floor. It is important to make sure that the plastering of the tank should be done in one go to avoid cracks. The following day, water the plaster and then cover it with the wet jute sacks to keep it moist. Repeat this process for the next three days. After three days, it is time to apply the second layer of plaster. The process of applying the second layer is the same as for the first. However, we use a slightly different ratio of materials to mix two parts soil, two parts sand and one part cement. Apply this plaster as you did for the first layer. That's it. Your soil cement tank is ready. Water the plaster the next day and cover with wet jute sacks for four days, then fill the tank with water. Do not wait longer than four days before filling in the tank, as this can cause the plaster to crack. For safety, the tank can be enclosed with a bamboo fence or using other locally available materials. Ideally, the tank should also be surrounded by trees to minimize water evaporation. To ensure the long-term durability of the soil cement tank, it is necessary to maintain it a few times a year. If the cracks emerge on the tank wall surface, seal them with the same plaster mixer used for the first layer of plastering. If sediment accumulates in the tank, it should be removed manually every year. <laughs>